Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video we're going to be getting hardcore about what Christmas means in motherhood. <laughs> the first one to admit that I didn't used to be the biggest fan of Christmas. I didn't have the best track record during the festive season. Things tend to go wrong and I probably bought this about on myself because I didn't like the season and therefore things got worse because of liking the season. And it wasn't actually until a few years ago, the first Christmas after my mum passed away, that I really like engaged with Christmas and like I was like oh I actually quite like this <laughs> I don't know if it's because I was a little bit older and I was viewing it differently it actually was the the first Christmas that I'd reconnected with my faith as well so suddenly like Christmas had a whole lot of different meaning then as well it was the first service I went to of what is now my church I'd been to a wedding there in early December and then I went to their carol concert and then I went to their Christmas Day service. So that was probably my first proper service. So that had an impact as well. I actually spent that Christmas Day on my own. I wasn't actually on my own. Uh, my partner was away with his family and had his whole family thing. We hadn't been together that long. And I decided that I wanted to, to stay here in the, the house I loved. It felt weird to go and be where my mum would have been previously and I didn't want to do that. So I did my, my ch the church service at what is now my church and I volunteered and I volunteered and helped serve a Christmas lunch for lonely people at a different church. The irony being was I was one of the lonely people but um, I was there to help and serve and that was awesome and just like really filled me with Christmas spirit and Christmas joy that's lasted for the few years after. This Christmas just been was my first Christmas with my family, my like little family of three. And yes, I'd had Christmas uh, with my, my previous partner and, and he had some kids and it was lovely to do stuff for them and presents for them and things like that. And I loved doing Christmas for them, but I still wasn't feeling the love of Christmas inside me. Whereas once I had my faith and my family, I really could embrace and love Christmas. And I think the essence of that is the fact that suddenly I kind of had Christmas my way. I just didn't know that my way was having this connection with God and having my little family. Like I w I'd always wanted to be a mum and I was desperate to be a mum and I've talked about this before. It was like 15 years in the making at age 15, I decided I wanted to be a mum and I, I was 30 when my daughter arrived, like 15 years waiting for this baby. And luckily she's awesome and worth the wait. <laughs> but I felt like it was, yeah, it was the first time that I've really had had Christmas like completely my way has been this past Christmas but the few years running to it like my my Christmas I was pregnant over Christmas and that was awesome and we spent it with my partner's family uh sort of I say up north but it was Norfolk which is like halfway up the country really and it was just suddenly yeah I had had the Christmas spirit and whether you want to think that was also the religious spirit as well but yeah the Christmas spirit inside me. So what I try and talk to people now when they're getting down and gloomy about Christmas particularly when they've got kids is the fact that it's gonna happen anyway. You might as well jump on the train like Christmas is gonna happen. There's gonna be parties to go to and some presents to buy. I mean, you can definitely limit the list, but there's gonna be some presents to buy and events to go to. And as your kids get older, nativities and carol concerts and things like this going on. Whether you put no decorations up, there will be decorations up elsewhere. And I'm, it's one of those things where you can't change it. So you might as well find a way to enjoy it. And talking through this issue with people. It's become very clear that if you find a way to do Christmas your way, 
the enjoyment factor goes through the roof. Now for me, that's being very planned, very organized, very family orientated, and lots of the church events. That's what becomes important to me at Christmas. The food is exciting, but as long as I've got the other bits there, and, and I like, oh, I hate unwrapping gifts. I find it really awkward unwrapping gifts because I'm kind of like, you went, you spent your time like putting effort into buying me a gift. I don't really feel like I deserve that. Like, so like a, like really? Like I deserved your time. It's, it's not even like I deserved the actual gift. It's that I deserve the time and effort you put in to get that gift. But I love like delving deep and coming up with clever ideas and buying presents for people. That bit I love. And so I embrace all the bits I love about Christmas and I don't make it a consumer holiday because I know that's what gets a lot of people is it's, oh, it's just a consumer holiday. Yes, I buy presents, but I like I might spend two pounds on you one year and 40 pounds on you the next year if I find the right present and I don't like buying presents that are just gonna be a waste and presents for the sake of presents and things like that. I've embraced the bits that I like and that are important to me. And I found that if you do the same, you will find much more enjoyment in the season. As this whole month is planning Christmas month, I've got to mention that by planning Christmas, you will find it better, easier and happier. For me, anything planned is better, easier and happier, but Christmas in particular, because so much happens in it's not just like the christmas week now it's the christmas month first of december hits and it's just thing after thing after thing after thing and if you're ready and prepared oh it's just going to be so much more relaxing and enjoyable and why shouldn't we enjoy christmas like i know we're mums and life is crazy busy but we deserve to enjoy christmas too so if you're really struggling to embrace Christmas, I'd recommend uh, downloading our Christmas Planner printables, which I will link down below, and really focus in on the what's your dream Christmas and your Christmas bucket list. Because if you can get an idea of what's important to you around Christmas and really focus in on making those things happen for you and your family, I think you're going to find there's a little bit of Christmas spirit inside you too. If you want some extra support and some idea sharing or to like bounce your stresses around, then I'd highly recommend heading on over to the Super Mums community group on Facebook and connecting with other like-minded Super Mums. I'd also highly recommend our Instagram stories where I'll personally be sharing a lot of my planning work in the run up to Christmas and a lot of the fun festivities that we get on with through December. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood and remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Cheers guys. Remember don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.